please take your seats. Wow. Let me, let me make this confession. I love this church, but I'm very jealous of Pastor Stanley and Pastor Steve. Uh, I am not privileged to be a twin. But that is a great, great, great gift. I want to thank God this morning and uh, I'm believing God that by the time we finish this service, somebody's life will turn around Amen. for the better. Amen. And let me be quick to say a big, 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 big thank you to the leadership of this church. Uh, I want to be part of this church. When I grow, I want to be part of this church. Amen. I spoke to Pastor Steve yesterday. He's chilling. Where is your wife? She's okay. As for your wife, anytime she sees me, she can. I used to be their school prefect in Harrow International School. So if she sees me, I have to be the other I'll punish her again. <laughs> her wife attended the, the, the radio school I attended. Harrow International School is Abekan La Paz. Abekan La Paz. And there's no way you go to Harrow International School and you don't get the good results to secondary school. Who went to Harrow International School here? Yeah. <laughs> Please lift up your right hand. Say with me. Say, God, give me something very special for today. I receive it to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I also came here today with my wife. My wife. She's not like me. She's very shy. Uh, but when she has to speak, she speaks. Uh, uh, Barbara went to a brig else. Yes. She went to a brig else. She studied a brig else. She studied a brig else. She went to a brig else from form one to form five. And then for some reason, she went to Accra Academy for sixth form, which was quite strange. Because Accra Academy is a boys' school. Her grandfather was a founding father of Accra Academy, so they forced her to go to Accra Academy for six form. And guess what happened? The year she went to Accra Academy, you know, the uh, six form was mixed. That was the year they had the biggest intake of girls. And the boys made a mistake. They decided to add the girls to the boys to be fair to, for the school prefership, and she won. The boys voted for the girl. So Barbara became the first girl to become a school prefect in Accra Academy. Anytime I go there and see the name Barbara Saki, and then they put in Lawrence Tete somewhere, I say, yes, I changed. <laughs> <laughs> and she continued to Westminster University where she saw me and fell in love with me, and I decided to marry her. <laughs> she fell in love with me. She fell in love with me. And I was teaching, I was lecturing Barbara statistic, and she was looking at me. And I said, why are, you, why are you looking at me like that? Say what you have to say. If she comes here, she's not going to defend anything I said. She will just greet you and bless you. Amen. But, but Barbara is also a preacher in her own right, and I think it will not be out of place at all if she takes some five or so minutes to share with you. Sometimes... It's very important to allow people to be a blessing when they're around. Barbara Tete. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's always awesome to be in this house. It's, it's beautiful. And um, I thank God for the leadership of the house. It's, it's wonderful being here. I always feel as if I've come back home when I come here. But if you are here this morning, I just want to reassure yourself that you are blessed. You know, because you are blessed because you have a special place in God. 
you were formed through the image of Christ himself. And it is the very existence of Christ that kicks your heart in beating. And you know, there are so many people that are walking outside who do not know Christ or who do not care about Christ. But you have found that special privilege to know Christ and be in the house of God. Therefore, your journey through this life, and I don't know whether you know through this life is a journey. This is not a permanent home. So you can imagine this beautiful edifice not being your permanent home. We are walking through this life. Therefore, if you find yourself in church, I just want to reassure you, whatever you are going through, know that you have already won. Whatever, whatever, whoever, no matter how tall, strong, mighty, as they may sound, see or, 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 or look, you have already won. Why? Because you have subjected your soul, your body, and your spirit under the altar and the finisher of this world. Therefore, no amount, no amount of enemy force. And I don't know how many enemies, I, mean, I have a few, but I know I have already won over them. Therefore, in your simplicity, in your, in your debility, in whatever liberty that you have, know that you have already, already won. Already won. Sometimes the storms and the waves we go through kind of shakes our fear and puts us in incredible positions as if um, our enemies have power over us. They do not. If you don't hear anything at all from me today, know that they don't. Because the person who created you, who reigns in you, is head over all principalities and powers, including the devil himself. Therefore, just imagine you. You are standing in your living room. You are standing in your bedroom. You command the devil himself and he falls like a leaf. Who is man? I mean, who is man who does not subject himself under the auspices of the spirit of God? You are wonderful and fearfully made. Please bear in mind that you have already won. So far as you commit everything you do under the authorship of Christ, there is no one, nothing that can come against you. Amen. Can I just speak to you? Can I forget about my notes and speak to you? Second Chronicles chapter 7. And from verse number 12. On the hill, far away, stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross. And I love that old cross. Where the dear rest and best for the world of love. Sinners was slain. So I'll share your Till my trophies at last I lay down Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old ragged cross And the shame is from there for her crown So I'll cherish, so I'll cherish the old ragged at last I lay down. I will cling to the old ragged cross. I will cling to the old ragged cross and I say. For
Pastor Stanley, in Second Chronicles chapter 7, God and Solomon, a human being, had a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, I want you to have a conversation with God. Come out of your big shorts. Come out of your car. Come out of your house. Come out of your position. Come out of your vocation. Come out of your title and speak to God. For when we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He shares on our way. While we do His good will, while we do, He abides with us still. And with all, and with all, we trust and obey. Everybody sing, trust and obey. Yeah, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. Try to trust and appeared to Solomon by night. Ladies and gentlemen, look at me. Every dangerous thing happens at night. Look at the things that happen at night. Every dangerous thing happens at night. Something's about to happen this night. Or oh, in your case, going to be positive. Something's about... God is about to open a door for you tonight. God is about to speak to you. God is about to make a way for you where there seems to be no... God is about to rewrite your story. If you believe, say yes, I will say... And said unto him, I've heard thy prayer. Put somebody... Put your hand on somebody's shoulder and say, God has heard your prayer. That's why I said your prayer. He knows what you are going through. He knows your situation. He knows your story. He knows your pain. He knows your frustration. He knows what certain foolish people are saying about you. How many of you have had foolish people talk about you before? Foolish people. Of course, Siabulu, but he's talking about you. No, am I talking to somebody? How many of you have had somebody talk about you before? If you look at them and say, Ah, Asemna Bantia. Nyewa. 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 And I have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, look at me here. Let me tell you something. God is about to do a new thing. You didn't hear what I said. It's about to do a new thing. Oh, it's about to do a new thing. If there's any title you want to give to this message this morning, is that how can I give thanks? How can I? How can I give thanks? How can I say thank you? Okay. How can I say thank you for getting up this morning? Hey. How can I say thank you for driving safe this morning? How can I say thank you for looking to the right, left and looking to the right and realize that in spite of all I went through, I'm still alive? How can I say thank you that I had a dream that I could not explain and yes, I got up and it was only a dream? How can I say thanks when certain people were waiting for me to fall and all of a sudden I stood and they fell? How can I give thanks when certain people are looking for me to be in a mess, but they are in a mess and God has made a way for me where there seems to be no. How can I give thanks when a few years back I thought nothing would happen. I thought all was over. I thought my story is finished. I thought I was going to be in shame, but God made a way where there seems to be no way. How can I give thanks that in spite of all the things I've gone through, he paid the debts I could 
up, babe. I could not help. I need a someone. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pay the debt that I could never pay. Let me say this, man. How can I give thanks? give thanks when they lied about me and they called me name and they themselves dug a hole for me and they concluded in their foolishness that I will fall in that hole but they are in the hole me say ni anyame aka so be ye no Only by to me, so on quiet. Or self on to me, so on quiet. You are not a castle, bear yano. Hey, I have forgotten this is another bad church. This is another bad church. And then, and then, this one, if you leave this one up in Kumasi, you will see. Me say, me and Yamia castle, bear yano. After secondary school, people were being picked for university, and the subject you wanted to be picked for, you were not given. In those days, in the olden days, in the 70s, in the 80s, and the 70s, when some of us were in school, if you are not a lawyer, you are not a doctor. You say, say, go and do. Uh, 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 even when you are asked to do pharmacy, you think you should have been doing medicine. They say, go and do mathematics. They say, raw. Statistics, they say, raw. In fact, we foolishly had a name. I had to go to Europe to realize that doing those specific courses are rather specialized courses. But in Ghana here, mathematics say it's doing raw. If you yourself, when you are doing mathematics, they give you philosophy or psychology, you know that is not what you wanted to do. You wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer and a lot of a sudden you took that course and then look at what the lord has done how can you give thanks you look back today and thank god for the doctor but you are not envious of her thank god for the lawyer but you are not envious of him thank god for the pharmacist you are not envious of him because what god has made out of you it is enough for you how can you say thanks how can you say how can you say how can you say thanks for thank you, oh my father, for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is How done. can I give thanks? When there were times in your life that you certainly don't know what was about to happen. Which of you have been there before? Where certain foolish people are talking about you. They are gossiping about you. And you are not stupid. When you were coming and they stopped, you knew they were talking about you. Who has been there before? Your roommates and certain people are talking. And you got there, you can just tell. In fact, you don't need to be a rocket scientist or a spiritualist to tell that. I mean, you they are talking about come once. And, and yes, still, oh, how many of you have been, been to school before? When they begin to give their nicknames, they didn't give you a nickname. And we cried. Didn't you cry sometimes? They shared names. They said this group, this Pachanga group, this Kasunga group, this Kotinse group, this Katisa group. And it's like they didn't give you a nickname. And you feel like they left you up. Today they are working in their nickname and look at where you are. How can I give thanks for the many things? And ladies and gentlemen, how can you even give thanks 
for the dress you are wearing. Some people went to Dubai to shop. Some went to London, the shop. Some went to America to shop. You too, you've never been to Kotoka. You went to Tema Station. It was Ben Down Boutique. But when you put it on up, you look fearfully and fearfully and special. I said, Some people ask me, say, hey, Waiting, they make me fine. I just they tell them, Say, Now Jesus, they make me fine. Some people ask me, oh, say, Some people ask me, Say, Waiting, 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 waiting they make me fine. I just they tell them, say, Jesus, they make me fine. Oh, are they fine? 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 Fine, 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 fine. I just they tell them, say, Jesus, they make me fine. Oh, are they fine? You didn't hear what I said. You did not hear what I said. What I'm saying is that some of you, the women, the hair you have on, it be cheap hair. But because of the glory God has given you, when you put on it, it makes you look so special. Somebody's I said so so wonder. Jesus they do. So so wonder Jesus they do. Oh so so wonder Jesus they do. So so wonder Jesus they do. He out my bread, sugar my cocoa. So so wonder Jesus hey, hey, they hey, do. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, now only you know, only know. In fact, in fact, in fact, sometimes as you walk like that and they are envying you, they don't know that it's because that hair you put on is itching you, but they are envying you. They don't know what you are going on. The hair you put on, you are feeling the itch because it is some tiger hair or some lion hair or, 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 or some elephant hair or some zebra hair. But you, hey, hey. I say, what shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What shall I say? the Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Hey, how can I say thanks? When about 33 years ago by now, I'm waiting to go to Club Le Quart, where that foolish girl is, is, is bluffing me. Now, I don't know if you have seen your former girlfriend before. Barbara, do you remember 92 when I stopped and you started beating me in the car? I was driving with Barbara, 92. I was driving with Barbara. We've just come back from London, newly married. I was driving with Barbara. Hey, can you imagine, Barbara? You've been in my house for almost 26 years. Wow. I just realized. They were driving. And then I saw Josephine. And I said, Barbara, stop the car. So, Barbara, this girl going used to be my girlfriend. Stop the car. And then Barbara said, so why do you want to stop? I said, I want to talk to her. Then she stopped. Now I look at her and say, hey, Brother Loris, look how you are looking nice. I said, ah. Then I look at her face. I look at Barbara. I look at her. He says, so I hear you are in London. I said, I look at her. I look at her face. I said, do you remember? When you left me at Club Requat, that you don't love me again. Say, so, uh, why 
did I get upset? I said, oh, my Lord, this is a long time. Now you're a pastor. Don't talk about it. I said, no, Barbara. You see, this girl let me a crop liquor that she doesn't love me again. I didn't know that God was separating me into a better height. Listen here to him. You've not lost anything. You have not lost anything. You have not lost anything. How can you give thanks when God has separated you? Some of you, what you are going through now, God is making a statement for the future. Don't you give up at all, for he's able to do a certain abundantly and above all things. He's about to change your destiny. Child of God, stop crying, stop weeping, and stop throwing a tower. For God is about to do a new thing. He's about to make a way for you where there seems to be no way. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I try. Somebody say, Jesus. can I give thanks when certain people finished on me am I talking to somebody yeah. they finish on you in other words they finished you in their mind yeah. who has been there before they finished you in their mind and they concluded you've come to the end of your journey they men testament they men human being They concluded that you have come to the end of your journey. And you yourself, they made you feel safe. Because words are very powerful. Some of us, our teachers almost messed us up. Our friends almost messed us up. Some of us it took just one teacher to, to make it possible. I was supposed to be reading law. After my results came, my teacher called my father and said, if the boy is an art student and is able to get one in mathematics and one in economics, why do you want him to go and read law? He said, people read law because they don't like calculating subjects. So if he's an art student and he can get one in mathematics, let him do something else. He took a teacher. He took a teacher. Don't worry. My house people, there are a lot of people in my house. I have two in my house who are lawyers. So I love the lawyers. And such a lady gifted. She bullies her. She said, by law. And I said, it's a little poor. Poor lady gifted. Get for none by law. Sometimes when you think all is lost, God is making a way. Put your hand on somebody's shoulder and tell the person what I said. I came to make a conversation with you today. I closed the notes down. I had a nice message for you. But when, after Barra finished session, I feel I should speak to you from my heart. When, when sometimes, sometimes what you think is about to destroy you, go use it for a miracle. An evangelist. Who has seen an evangelist before? Okay, an evangelist. This is one. An evangelist went to a village, Pastor Stanley, to preach in the village. He had a miracle galore. First day, second day. On the third day, after all the miracles that have taken place, he decided to make pronouncements. And in the middle of the pronouncement, he realized the clouds were very heavy. It's about to rain. It has started drizzling. And he picked his Bible and I know how it feels like some point an evangelist and things are happening. Sometimes you can talk from your mouth, your head, your nose. You talk before you even realize you have talked. You said nothing will happen. It will not rain if I be a man of God. If it rains, I'll throw my Bible away. And the whole congregation of the village believed him. Because the previous days he has worked miracles. God has used him to do miracles. And while he was speaking, the rain came. It rained heavily. It rained so heavily 
everybody in the village went to me. The only time I saw people stand on a ring was where we didn't see it last week. Eh? Then Shabuah said nobody left. The second day I preached in St. Denis, I went to where the young man was killed, the soldier was killed. The second day it rained throughout the crusade. Nobody went home. I've never seen anything like that before. The king, the queen, the boys, everybody stood on the ring. I preached on the ring. In fact, I've never done that before. The people will not go home, so you have no choice. <laughs> and then they have all those stand and say, and they and they and they who So I stood in the ring, I preached. But that is the most powerful uh, uh, message I've ever preached in my life. Stood in the rain. In the rain, it was raining. And the megaphones were on. And the speakers were on. And, and the guys would not go. I'll be showing from next week. I'll be showing the Chobuase. The Chobuase is one of the biggest crusade and the most exciting crusade I've ever had in my life. Where you stand and somebody says, I have a hunchback. It's getting lost. Wow. You cannot explain. You cannot explain. You cannot explain. It's, 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 I didn't know. Call, call. Wow. But this evangelist preached. And when it rained heavily, he became so sad and disappointed. He went to the village cottage, picked his bag, and decided to leave the village because he has been embarrassed by God. God has embarrassed him. Yes, God, I like the way God has embarrassed him. <clears throat> so he left by night in shame. He was shaking his head. God, how can you embarrass me like that? And he walked for nearly 100 kilometers. And he was so tired, he stopped by the roadside and was sleeping by his baggage. Then, unfortunately for him, he saw some serving men come. Very rugged serving men. When they saw him, he said, hey, that is him, that is him. Hey, that is him again. What do you want here? Why are you tormenting him? He said, that is who? He said, are you not the man of God? He said, don't call me a man of God. Don't call me a man of God. Don't, don't even call me a man of God. Say, you are lying. You are the man of God. You are the one who shook our village last night. He said, I am the fetish priest of the village. For the past three days that you were holding a crusade, we tried everything to throw arrows at you. And any time we try to throw an arrow at you, you speak so powerful of your God, angels come to stand around you. And we are not able to get the arrows to you. Nothing worked. But on the last day, we decided to stand at the mountaintop to shoot at you. So we prepared our weapons and we put in the gunpowder. And we were just waiting for you to be at the peak of the crusade so we can fire. Then when you came, you said it will not rain and we we're very happy. If it doesn't rain, our weapons will be in tats. We can finish you. But you lied. You knew what you were doing. Whilst you were preaching, a heavy downpour came and it fell on our weapon and all the gunpowder. So we pick our tents and we decided to leave because every fetish clan and instrument we had was broken. And you come and sit here. He said, man of God. So why did you say we shouldn't call you a man of God? He said, I thought God had disappointed me. He said, no, God honored you in the village. Everybody knows that you have performed a miracle because my shrine was the biggest shrine in that village. Put on someone's shoulder and tell the person that he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. So just give him time. Just give him time. He knows it has delayed, but he knows what he's doing. It has delayed. Your miracle has delayed, but he knows what he's doing. I say your testimony has delayed, but he knows what he's doing. I say your story has delayed, but he knows. Put somebody say he knows. 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 He knows what he is doing. Hey, 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 hey. Your God knows what he is doing. Solomon and God. Verse 13. Second Chronicles chapter. It says. Verse 13. It says, if I shut up heaven. That there be no rain. Or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. Verse 14. 
God gave the bombshell. So for if my people who are called by my name. Ladies and gentlemen, if my people who are called by my name, if you want to give thanks, number one, you must be called by his name. I say, if you, if you want to give thanks, number one, what? Tell somebody, you must be called by my name. The follower of Christ. A Christ-like person. Or Christ to me. A child of God. A daughter of Zion. Man of valor. You must be called by his name. For I know his name. I know, I know his name oh. his name is wonderful i know his name i know his name i know his name i know i know i know his name his name is wonderful his name, his name is, is wonderful, wonderful. I, I know he said if my people who are called by my name number one will humble themselves number two you have to be humble that's why you have to be humble put someone say are you humble are you sure you're humble because even where you sit in the church is very important how many of you know where you sit is very important who acknowledges is very important where you come from is very important if i i i was coming today with some people who didn't want to acknowledge me this man here louis kwaku is what are you chief director of what Office of the head of the civil service. Civil service. He's, he asked me not to acknowledge him, but so I'm not acknowledging him. <laughs> he's the chief director of the head of the civil service. He was my senior in school, but he's no more the senior. I'm the senior here. We we'll have the microphone. Louis Kwaku. <clears throat> now, how they, how they all decide to turn. Then another one to who warned me is uh, Honorable Prince Dan. So, he, he used to be the DC for Achimansa, NDC. The, his government is not in power. So he's very humble. <laughs> he told me not to mention him. Have I mentioned him? <laughs> I want to introduce some other people. Okay, let me keep quiet for now. So somebody too is hiding at the back there. <laughs> But hear me, child of God. Are you humble? Are you humble? Honorable. If it was last year by this time, would you like to sit in the second row? No. No. Honorable Prince Danso. <laughs> he comes to me and says, My brother, the time is church, church. Let's go to church. <laughs> praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Are you, humble? Are, you humble? Are 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 we humble? Are we humble because of that small sit? Because of that small position? Because of that small honor? Are we humble? Are you humble? Are you? Don't worry. This is house matter. Are you humble? Now, when they were coming, Barbara, when they kept warning me, no introduction, Barbara shook his head. Say, you push shouldn't have told this, but because me, it, that's the time that my spirit feel like introducing. And I want to introduce some more people. Pastor Stanley, I was going to preach in Kinshasa. And when we landed in Kinshasa, the soldiers has mounted the thing at the, the place there. And then the pilot came out and said, Dr. Tete, I hear all the soldiers are because of you. How do you feel? I said, I feel good. I said, very good. Then the, the car came to the tarmac. And what is the National Security Coordinator of Congo? He tell you, you shouldn't come out. You shouldn't let them see you. He told me. That I shouldn't come out. I shouldn't let the people see me. Because all this crowd, you see, these people are there because of you. And Barbara held his uh, teeth. He said, no, you shouldn't have told my husband that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said, nonsense. I, 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 the people, I, the people ghosts. I didn't know human being. So I told the man, I want some fresh air. <laughs> he said, no, there's air conditioning. I said, no, I don't like the air conditioning. I need the fresh air. I, then I opened the person, hey, wanga, wanga. Then I waved. Then the people came around the car. Then 
The man said, then my wife said, please, next time, don't tell my husband. And my husband, when he see the crowd, he get excited. <laughs> if you like, give me fancy, I'll come tomorrow morning. I mean, my fans, no, even sex, even secular, mad people give me fans. No, you don't believe it. What's the matter for you? Come, the last time, what happened? When we're going, the last crusade we did, tell them what happened. Yeah, we were having a crusade with the Methodists. Yes. And as we were driving down Achimota, the bridge, we saw this madman who was stopping the car. So, the madman was waving the thing and stopping, waving and stopping. <laughs> So daddy asked the driver to stop. Then the bodyguard, Bright, said, Oh, this man is a madman. We shouldn't stop. So daddy asked him, Is the car for you? <laughs> stop! <laughs> yes. So when we stopped, when we stopped, the bodyguard got down and he was walking towards the madman to ask him to go back. And the madman pushed the bodyguard by. He said, I don't want you. I want the man in the car. <laughs> so, as soon as he pointed to the man in the car, he was walking towards the car. Daddy got down from the car. He became so excited. <laughs> he said, he said, Dr. Tete, Ogbojiboru, Ogbojiboru, Manche. Then, madman, oh, madman. He was keeping, and I was enjoying it. I look at Bright's face, I look at his face. All of us, oh, now, Charlie, madman, and Lenny, me, Lee. But they get champion, Jibo, champion, Charlie, champion, champion. Ogbojiboru, I say, yes, I'm Charlie, sir. Tell them what happened. Then he said, Dr. Tete, second year local bar, a chile opposite, say, in the bench, you know, why He said, some other man, man came and he was tearing down your posters for the crusade. I have really given him a sound beating. <laughs> so daddy asked the woman there, and the woman said, What this man has done to the other madman? He beat the madman and he chased him out of the place. And he came to stand by the posters and he was just watching for any other person who will come near the posters. You didn't finish. What did I do to the madman? What did I do to him? So daddy gave him. So daddy gave him. Daddy gave him 20 CDs. I put my hand. Maybe if you give me fans now, I'll give you something. <laughs> Can I give thanks? How can I give thanks? The man, man. So, Pastor Stanley, can the one go to come and I gave him 20 uh, uh, CDs? What did he do? When he gave him the 20, he said, Kai, get the care of my co in the man. He said, If the madman comes again this time, he'll not just fight, he'll kill him. Hey! The woman who was selling cocoa and others, they said, ah, we thought the madman knew you because what he did in the morning, he was standing. So when we went to visit Barbara's yeah, mother, how, how many hours so were we there? We were there for about three hours. And when we came back, he was still standing by the posters. <laughs> a madman will fight for you. Amen. I said, God will send a madman to fight for you. Let's to Katasa. God will send a madman. Some people, they need to hear the language. Uh, the language they will understand. Uh, that somebody is fighting on the corner. Hey, 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 hey. That no weapon that is fashion against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned for act. Could you believe by the time we finish the Methodist crusade, the madman is... He has been... He, he was healed. He was healed. I was so touched. The last day he came to the, 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 the last day. The last day. I was so touched. We went to pack our things we give to him. The guy, he said, the shoe I was wearing is what he said. No more. <laughs> sure I'm, sure I'm. <laughs> I look at his face. I couldn't say no to him. I was putting off the shoe. I said, ah, second, no part of the issue. 
again we sure fine me the hang that in garage say mom le he me ma we go kwa na he look at bright face and say charlie you are a champion boje champion jibo by the final day of the crusade as any methodist person you know including the bishop of the methodist the madman came to the crusade dressed shaved <laughs> How can I be thanks? Number three. He said, if my people who are called by my name, number one, number two, will humble themselves. Number three, pray. Some of us, the reason why the miracles are not working is that we have stopped praying. In fact, the truth is that, Pastor Stanley, a prayerless man is a powerless man. Tell someone what I said. Tell someone what I said. <laughs> Tell someone what I said. I'm closing soon. A prayerless man is a part. Tell somebody, are you prayerful? Are you prayerful? Are you prayerful? Hey, that's, listen to me. Listen to me. No president can solve your problem. The longest a president in Ghana can stay is eight years. No minister can solve your problem. No doctor can solve your problem. No economist can solve your problem. And sorry, I'm sorry if I feel like I'm talking about profession. I'm an economist myself. I studied in Budapest Economic University and studied in London School of Economics. This is traceable. So I'm not condemning professions, but I know the biggest thing that happened to you is coming to church this morning. Amen. The greatest thing that happened to you is coming to church this morning. The most potent thing that happened to you is coming to church this morning. Tell somebody you are special. If my people who are called by my name, Louis Kwaku, will humble themselves and pray. Ladies and gentlemen, prayer is very important because I said a prayerless man is a powerless man. We travel around and we go through a lot of encounters. How many of you watch or read about what happened when I went to Kofuridia? Interesting things. I went to Denchobwase. Interesting things. Now, why do I go to some of those raw places? Because that is where the gospel is. The reason why I love Stanley Mensa and Steve Mensa is because of your crusades you do, your evangelistic. That is the gospel. Because there are some people they don't do that. Some people find church is enough for them. And some of you too, you sit in fine church. You don't go when they are going. Shame on you. Tell somebody if you don't, you don't go shame on you. You are the one he's talking about. Put somebody, say if you've never been to some of those slaves before, if you didn't go to Kambaga, if you didn't go to Tamale with them, if you didn't go with Ho to them, then shame on you. If you didn't go and your money too didn't go, then shame, 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 shame. S H A M E. How can you give thanks? How can you give thanks? Ladies and gentlemen, prayer. It's so important because them, prayer breaks the keys. A matter of you, I think you again. Do you remember what happened in Germany to me? The woman who insulted me. Yes. Tell them. Yeah. Don't worry. This is I travel with them. This man, you, you have your factory. Where is your factory? Uh, Oya Oyarefa. What factory is it? Uh, feed mill. Feed mill factory. So he's, he's my chief of staff, but I don't pay him. I chop his money. <laughs> <laughs> and all it takes is that you say, shake hands with what? President. How, many, how many presidents in the world have you shook hands with? Uh, 30, 35. Yes. Any president that I go and I shake hands with, like next week we are going to Congo, we'll be preaching there. He will shake hands. If I shake hands, then he take the pictures. He put it there. So anytime he provoke me, I say, if you do, you don't shake hands with president. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. It's the same. Prophets without honor in his home. When we go out, we look bigger and accepted than our own home. In Germany. Germany, remember? Yes. The rich man. Yes. That he, woman, he was, wife, and so yes, He was preaching, and the pastor told him that there's a rich man in the church. Listen to me. Let me be honest with you. Let me confess my sins. Me, I love rich people than poor people. <laughs> Tell someone what I say. You can quote me anyway. I love rich people more than poor people. 
poor people are problem. Rich people, they solve problem. <laughs> oh, yes. And it's Bible. The Bible says a rich man and a poor man. A poor man has no friend. The book of Proverbs. It says a poor man has no friend. And the Bible also said that the wisdom of the poor man is despised. Check. Jesus Christ never had poor people as friends. Think about it. The likes of Peter and others were rich people. Joseph of Arimathea, the man whose tomb he was giving, rich man. He was a smart man. He knew if poor people, the poor people, he meet them on the road, he gives them something and he moves on. He gave them bread and fish. Then he moved on. Be rich in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, this man, there's a very rich man, but his wife has been sick for how many years? Has been sick in a wheelchair for 15 years. For 15 years. years. Then the man asked me if I want to go and pray for the wife. I told her, Martha, what did I tell you? You said we should hurry up and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, And that if we go and the woman now he said, If we go and he prays and the woman is healed, fine. If she's not healed, by all means, the husband knows he came to pray for the woman. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. We went excited that the host pastor in Germany was happy that oh, Dr. Teta has agreed because he didn't believe I would want to go to the house. Went to the house, the woman was sitting in a wheelchair. As soon as she saw us, mm. so for, I've lived in Europe since the mid 80s. I've never seen racism in my face like that before. Hey. The first word she said is shizy. Shizy is a very, it means S H I T. If a German says shizy, that is what it means. What, what do these black niggers, he said, what do these niggers want in the house? Then this man looked at my face and said, washing away, I'm on. Can wash away, I'm on. We should return and go away. This is the place. Tell me this is the place. My brother, we'll not return. Oh, don't return. Go for it. Tell me, go for it. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Your testimony is so close. Grab it. Amen. Wow. I said, no more. Let's let's leave the, the woman said they should get it. Tell them what the woman said and what do you no, also say? Yes, the woman said they should get it out of the house. But she was shouting on the husband to get this out of the house. And that white people and uh, that the husband has brought a lot of white preachers to pray for her and she did not get ill. What can these niggas do? I said it's my told her matter for Mali Kwe Masole Mali. It's small you small you me master Mali. Come on, she won't know about fine. Hey, I'm a god boy, I'm a god boy. I was born in Jamestown. Can you beat me? Hey, hey! Can wash a jamie? Can wash a jamie? Have you forgotten that the girls will support the cars of Like a fool, I'm so close. They said this man is a millionaire, a rich man. House, I'm in the house. Then you insult me. That's how I'm upset. Oh, Malikra, you'll be a fool when you get upset. Some of you like that, you get upset and then you leave. I will not be upset. Insult me and let me take what I bought and put it in my heart. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not saying, uh, no more, no more, Pastor. Let's let this woman is being insulting. I say, I'm not saying, she's not insulting me. She's not insulting me. Oh no, no, she. I'm not saying you. You are older than me, but you don't understand it. You know, she, she. Oh, the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Then, 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 then. I just told them that the school you went to when you were in about kindergarten, I was the school prefect. <laughs> So if you don't come early, I'll come and take you back to Harrow International School and go and punish you. <laughs> Didn't I say that? The woman insulted us well and proper. Told us nigger, black people, bushy people, dirty people, you come out of a place there. And I started opening the oil. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Who is sick? Who is troubled? <laughs> Call the elders. Let them pray for 
and the prayer said in faith it's not a faith i'm looking for my faith the prayer said in faith who heal the sick where i've reached i knew be a shame i'm very close to a breakthrough what is this woman sitting in the wheelchair it's not about her at all it's not about her at all i'm very close they told me in the chair the man in who's and when you enter the house how does the house look like it was very posh <laughs> Now, but German Porsche carpet. house. You <laughs> enter the house, you know this is a pure rich man house. It's on about a one acre land. land. And you drive in the place, and there's a place to park visitors' car. And uh, yes. <laughs> I enter the car, I says to myself. <laughs> then the woman said, We should come out. She started screwing. She started unscrewing something from the wheelchair to throw at me. I was looking, I was saying, Oh, Malikra, I've prayed. <laughs> Tell someone I've prayed. I have prayed. Listen, man, when you pray, leave the rest to God. Some of you pray and you don't leave it to God. And then you want to go and prove a point. You don't need to prove a point to anybody. Obia and you, Obia. Nobody's anybody. Tell someone, Obia and you, Obia. Obia and you. Don't prove a point. In fact, your friends don't need you to prove a point to them. Neither do your enemies need you to prove a point to them. But your friends will believe you anyway. Your enemies will not believe you so you don't and god will not judge you because of some foolish person's opinion about you tell someone what i said tell someone i said god will not judge you because of some foolish person's opinion about you tell someone what i said if people's opinion about you matters you will not be seated where you are seated today ah some people they are dying because of you and some people you go to their graveside and say yeah 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 and can bear your day Anka beye den ye yu Wusunami ye o Wusunami ye o Anka beye den ye o There's a part I love with this song and you believe it I was going to preach in a Methodist which was the, the, the Methodist and the bishop asked me Lawrence why are you not singing some of your street songs I said ah, papa I told me, I said, no, 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 sing it. There's one I like. Like I now, I say so. I sang, I started singing. I said, you are saying one name, Paddy Pa. Oba fine, say one name, Benya. Ni who your friend so bad you? Intimate ni who jah you? I dey who pencil na who pen you? Want to be your one, go and your other. So be your number one, one. Anka be your name, na yo ya. Then the bishop got up and said, that is the thing. The last verse says, "Ye nyan e ye juma baku, udi e wu nyanka mi di ense i na na nyami ompa di boninti wa shan shami mana buruso afena uhu mena uyama shibu yem upemse ye ubebre o 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 akebe ye de na ye oya." the woman was so rude and then finally she started throwing the thing she wanted to throw at me and then i opened the oil i opened the oil and i decided to pour the thing on the and the woman told me girl stop me girl stop me in fact some of the words she said i don't want to repeat it in church every rough and raw and street word and profane you can she said you this you that you that i opened the thing i was saying my head oh, Mali, you lie i'm very close to the breakthrough <laughs> you will not come away <laughs> from the time of john the baptist until now of heaven has suffered violence and the violence taken it by then i poured the thing on the woman and she became angry she became angry she wanted to do something she wanted to do something she wanted to hurt me she threw something and she jumped and what did she do she jumped and started chasing daddy in the living room <laughs> We 
have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Forevermore. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Forevermore. Amen. She says never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Of this story the following day the woman became she said can i kiss you can i do this can i do that a matter of you say hey, can you kiss her? i said matter of you, i want to kiss the woman you lie <laughs> me i want to kiss the rich man's wife i want to kiss the woman and I'm you, what is your problem what is a matter of you's problem a matter of you bo, bo, nah, job, yeah, okay, that be the now the woman wants to kiss me so what do you want i said myself go back i want to kiss the woman you may kiss the bride The following day, what did they decide to do? The following day, they took us to the man's. Uh, um, he has a shop. He sells cars. But he's, he was. Uh, he's a dealer in Rover. He deals in Rover cars. So they took us to the shop. <laughs> Say the thing proper. Say the thing. And when they took us, Say the thing. Say the thing. When we got there, they've lined up. I'm at a few. <laughs> uh, honorable, next week we do want to go to the Congo. Honorable, you are sitting there, I'm talking to you. Okay, sit down. <laughs> so, because if you go to Achiman Sana, another person is the DCO. <laughs> oh, it's not oh, it's too loose. Oh, it's not oh, it's... <laughs> That is why, as for me, hmm. I thank God for politicians, but I don't want to be a politician. Because <laughs> today you are here, tomorrow you are there, and something can be very frustrating, especially. Honorable. <laughs> <laughs> honorable, honorable, don't worry, no. <laughs> <laughs> last year by this time he came to the house i think two sheep or two in here last year two i said come on take it out quickly <laughs> clean the car hey my man just said they should, the people should clean the car i said there you go oh wow yeah i never hear you don't worry these are my brothers The woman and the husband took us to their garage. I saw a fleet of cars. In fact, I saw a school of cars. <laughs> <laughs> a school of cars. Cars in different shapes. And we're walking. And the woman will be walking like this. Uh, uh, oh, she's walking with us, holding some stick. She's walking with you. Then she'll be walking. Now, matter of fact, come on, you know. She was upset to the woman. You are a fine pig. <laughs> But for her, would we be walking in this place? The woman walking. Then we get to a car, then she'll stop. Then what did the husband Then the do? husband came to a car and said, Oh, this is a small car, but it's a very powerful car. And he thinks the man of God should have that car. Hold on. Then the wife came and said, No, 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 no. The man of God deserves a bigger and a better car. <laughs> So she chose a car and it was shipped to Ghana. Yes, they shipped it. And they to Ghana. paid for it. <laughs> and I told her, you're a very nice woman. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry for yesterday. I said, that's not the sorry, but it's part of the miracle. He said, as a miracle worker, you are a miracle worker. Hey, come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Oh, miracle.
Okay, thank you. Don't worry, I travel with him. So when he hear these stories, and remembers everything. The places that we are beaten to, he remember. <laughs> Where did the guy slap me? At North Kadeshi as the place of God. Uh, <laughs> yes. As soon as they introduced me, Pastor Harish, I North Kansas, so as soon as they introduced me, he came forward. <laughs> then he fell down, that spirit of God has touched him. Eh? Then where did I also beat the guy? At Dakuman. Uh, you remember that one? Dakuman. Ah. Uh, that's why I saw the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they slap me before you come again. No, not same guy, another one. This is what we do. When I was young in ministry, when I hear a man of God going out with AIDS and things, I said, but who, who is looking for you? Except that some of our people today do it too much. But the moment you become a public figure and prominent person in society, be mindful. Because there are some people who are mad and wicked. People who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. And number four, seek my face. This is a gentleman. You are not seeking the face of God. I'm bringing this message to an end. And I didn't want to complicate this message at all. I didn't come to a site. I just want you to pick these little words. And I wanted to be myself. How? 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 Look at your life. Look at your life. Look at your life now. That at least you can dress well. You can walk well. When they talk, you talk. When they go, you go. Certain people who competed with you a few years ago, they are lost. They are nowhere to be found. How can you give thanks? Seek my face. Seeking the face of God means I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus. Trusting only thee. Trusting only thee. Trusting thee. Trusting thee for full salvation. Grace and free. Great and free. And I am. I, I am trusting. I'm trusting only thee. Trusting only thee. I am trusting it. I am trusting. I am trusting only thee. Trust. I'm trusting only thee. Trusting only thee. Number six. Number five. And ten from their wicked ways. All of us have wicked ways. Sometimes even just the mouth to lie about somebody is a wicked way. Some of you just cheating is a wicked way. Some of you just deceiving others is a wicked way. And some of you sometimes even self selfishness is a wicked way. That some of you have about 200 shoes. Your sister doesn't even have one. But you want to wear the shoes for her to see your many shoes. You give her one. That's a wicked way. Some of you have so much that you can give to others. Even in the church, there are a lot of people in a wicked way. When it comes to offering and giving, they never give. But they have in essence. Wicked way. Then he said, number six. Then I will hear from heaven. Read that thing. He said, seek my wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. And will forgive their sins and heal the land. How can I give thanks? How can I give thanks? Lift up your right hand. 